did you choose your character and what does it mean for you playing this character? Uh, I, I think it's uh, kind of inner, inner self, so altruistic ego or something like that. Like, like I said, something that I've always wanted to do and wouldn't normally do. <laughs> so really joy, I think. And, and for everybody, it's, it's kind of really them. So, um, so they really are, would be, no, if they would be really free <laughs> from, uh, from <laughs> you know, social obligations. Yes, from, from that. Also. So you dream to be like a punk rocker or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> do you do music yourself? Uh, no, no. Not at the moment. I, I never, I, I don't play any instrument. But I think that I, I really like to. It's, it's, it's and do you, you, you sing a little bit? Or? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Maybe you should try. <laughs> Maybe in the project I do. I think we all now we all uh, try to sing or uh, recite poetry as well. Like mm -hmm. we changing the project so it, it incorporates text and uh, so up, uh, maybe a very absurd kind of poetry. Mm -hmm. um, You're doing the poetry in this uh, festival, the poetry festival. Maybe don't and ha ha who writes? Do you write the text? Uh, no, sometimes we take something. And sometimes we that already something. exists. I think one of the last was uh, something from it, some German poets. I I I frei as geht mir schlecht. This is one of the one of the poems. And who wrote that? I can't remember. Actually, it's uh, one of the absurd uh, German um, German from German the Dadaist period. So so we we. We take uh, bits and pieces from either life or so something that other people already wrote in the genre or also write our own texts. Mm -hmm. um, and we have uh, one, one guy who writes very absurd songs and he just comes out and sings them. The kid, he writes them himself. And looks uh, looks quite interesting because he... Uh, it, it's kind of based on folk music, but it absolutely doesn't make sense. And he waves his hands a lot like this. And so it's uh, it's the kind of project which you can develop in a lot of ways because almost anything goes. Yeah. It's, it's and how, how do you meet? How do you connect with artists you work with? Um, just uh, by. <laughs> Ask, asking people that we already know, <laughs> you don't uh, don't really specifically look, look for people, but uh, some just by meeting meeting people and also asking them, do you know someone who uh, or likes doing this type of projects or likes playing violin and will be into something um, you know, crazy like that? So because. Uh, we have uh, some, a lot of musicians that are classical musicians or very serious musicians and sometimes for them it's very very interesting and sometimes for them it's absolutely a big no. They, they do not handle being in a project like this. So it um, depends on just by talking to people. Yeah, just connecting, uh, yeah. And the, the, how, how did the painting, does that connect with the, your, your, your performance work? It's something very separate or you just... I, I don't think it's separate because I think that we all kind of... Um, the way that we paint, it's very about uh, expression. It, it's, it's, it's kind of based on, on just expression, just feelings, just kind of... Uh, uh, but also being satirical in a way, a lot of our paintings of the whole group or work, it's it's um, very expressive and very satirical at times. Um, so I don't think, and, and also it doesn't have a lot of meaning, like uh, our work. I don't, I don't think it it carries a lot of um, it doesn't carry a lot of conceptual ideas. Maybe that's bad or good. I don't know, but. But I think it's, it, it is connected.
And this thing you said first, maybe the, the snow concept thing, is sort of like a reaction to all this uh, contemporary art, conceptual work? Um, I, I think it is. Uh, I think it is in a way because, um, t to me personally, it's uh, it's fantastic what, what what's happening now. But it's also um, sometimes uh, sometimes it's conceptual work. You have to really read about it to understand it. And a certain element from this person is missing. Uh, and uh, also, I think there is a lot of. At the moment, there's a lot of questions about what 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 is actual art these days. Because mm. um, before, I think I think uh, part of it is that there's not a lot of uh, money that that is put into arts right now. So there's like a little, uh, very elite uh, group of artists that um, can spend a lot of time on, on doing art and. The other people kind of have to struggle to even make something, I find. And because because of that, people make things and it's just hard to tell whether it's art or not art and where, where it stands and what it also, what's the value of it. So um, there's things like that and there's also a lot of conceptual art which doesn't take a lot of time to do and you have to read about the idea to for, for for it to make sense. And I I, I personally find that the, like the beautiful things are almost disappearing sometimes from the galleries. Like where you just uh, go from art scene, where you just go and you just enjoy something without um, necessarily finding it smart or good idea or that's that's finding interesting or just enjoying something for its visual um, artistic value. So I think I think it is a reaction. I, I don't know if it's a protest, they're not really against something, but, yeah. but it's we it, it just kind of tend to go into another direction. Another direction. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's common to most uh, Russian artists? Is it something that you have in common? Not really, because in Russia nowadays uh, most people uh, uh, work in genre of political art. Political art. Political art. And it's, it's conceptual political art. It's, it's very different. It's kind of... It's also... I mean, we, we, we do political work sometimes, but we mo mostly make fun out of it. Like, we don't really... Um, it's not, not serious conceptual political work. It's very different from what, what is happening. Uh, but because in Russia they um, they 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 almost have like a political regime that they need to uh, fight against. And it's very popular right now that kind of art. And there's um, in, in a way it's a little bit stagnant in that way because you know, they, they don't uh, they they kind of stuck in one year for a very long time because they always have uh, political problems and. And they need to react to them, and, and they build this um, art scene around it. Well, what's does. the Russian system like uh, for, for artists at the moment? Mm -hmm. no, I don't know. I mean, um, I, I don't you don't know exactly how it is now. It's. Uh, I, I mean, it's. Uh, it's uh, if you do uh, something that someone doesn't like, you can of course get. Certain I don't know. Like for example, one guy he got um, put into jail because he wrote something or did something like political art or something like that. But and he got beaten up and his girlfriend got beaten up. Oh really? Yes. So it's like in Vienna, Russia. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is quite bad, but but also mm -hmm. the whole movement is kind of using it to also it's a very popular now mm -hmm. promote your art like like using this kind of means, so it's... Oh, you mean it's ambiguous, you actually do something on purpose to provoke, to be able to get into the media, and so you won't be beaten up because of it, and then you Yeah, because people pay people. a lot of attention to that, because, uh, for example, uh, if you are beaten up and put into jail, or if you are if you're, um, denied a visa or something like that, then a lot of people pay attention to that. While, and this is also the art crisis that we had, I think, that more attention is turned towards the media than towards the actual art objects. So it's like, uh, yeah. we have this.
I'm not saying that the art is bad, or I mean, I'm just saying that this, this is also the fact that um, in Russia now it's really popular uh, this uh, group called uh, War, and they do the a lot of war. war. Yeah, and uh, actually the performance art, or, or they are political kind of performance um, street art, and uh, they do things like they burn uh, police cars or they. They burn police cars. Yeah, the, the famous thing was that they did. Uh, there's a bridge that's going up, mm -hmm. and they did uh, like a drawing of a penis. On, uh, <laughs> it was quite funny. And uh, yeah, I, yeah I, think, I think this is in Moscow. The bridge of the bridge goes up, or in Saint Petersburg. I'm not sure. I think it's in Petersburg. And uh, and I think and I think uh, Ben he, he sponsored them just recently. Some of mine because that's sponsored. Banksy. Banksy. Banksy is the graffiti famous. Oh, okay. graffiti and the uh, last action that they did, they did uh, girls from that group, they were going around and kissing female policemen. Police women. Women. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's quite good actions that they do, but it's very provoking.